there will be a special fright break during this showing, all those too timid to take the climax will be welcomed to the coward's corner. That's great marketing and another irresistible gimmick. Now imagine if you will, if such a gimmick were to return today, would it have the same effect? Probably not. You cannot make such a movie without the undisputed king and it wouldn't be the season without him. Now, after the success of House on Haunted Hill, The Tingler, and 13 Ghosts, gimmicks had become his trademark. And it's said that even Alfred Hitchcock was given a nod to him whilst promoting Psycho. So I, O oh patron, on behalf of the great William Castle, invite you to today's heart-stopping extravaganza. The 60th anniversary of homicidal. A person of unstable character is at risk from exposure while scheming to relieve a fortune from a family they work for. What's the matter, dear? Is there something wrong? Were you afraid being in the house all alone? What are you trying to tell me? That you missed me? That you're glad I'm back? You shouldn't do that, dear. It's very impolite. Notice that I use gender neutral pronouns, and there's a reason for this, and you must watch to understand why. There is a correlation between this and Psycho. They take you into different terrains. The Fright Break was a particularly good addition. Initially, some patrons tried using this to their advantage by leaving before the timer on the big screen expires, collecting their refund and then coming back. Two screens for the price of one, if you will. Now Castle acted quickly to quell this situation and created the Coward's Corner. So when those who would leave when the clock appeared on the screen, they would have to go to said corner where a nurse would be on standby and they were to stay there and be seen by the departing crowd. There is more to that, but you get the idea. And of course, people came in droves to see it start to finish. Yet another successful venture and is regarded as one of Castle's best works. Now, unlike House on Haunted Hill and 13 Ghosts, this is one of those rare movies that can never be remade because it bears close resemblance to that of Hitchcock's biggest masterpiece.